Welcome to the week eight garden update. So on shelf two, we've got a bit of an experiment. I'm painting these with a dishwasher safe UV resistant glass paint. So I'm gonna see if that's gonna do better than the tin foil. We've got all of the baby lettuces starting to come in. And um, this is another green pepper that's coming in, still little. Down here, we still got a ton of basil. I've moved the radishes from shelf two to shelf three. The peppers all got a nutrient upgrade. Uh, moved some of the radishes down into the empty bins in the basil bin, because why waste the space? I've done some significant pruning on the lettuce, but we noticed a bit of a fungal problem with one of them, so it's been removed. Um, I think I'm pretty soon gonna switch all the little baby lettuces to be here in this tank and then just deal with these bigger lettuces. The Swiss chard continues to uh, grow insanely. I don't mind, it's delicious. We've definitely had a, a really big salad of it this week. And the, we've got lots of tomatoes getting ripe and coming in. Of course, now that I'm filming, I can't find any of them. Um, but yeah, they keep popping up and ripening and they are pretty delicious. We're pretty happy with them. Since I got my seed order in and I've got a ton of room on shelf one and two now, we're gonna start some seeds. So we're gonna do some zucchini, some eggplant, some more cherry tomatoes, and some cucumbers. And these are all pretty much gonna be dusted for the basement. I forgot, cause she's all the way in the back. I did remove one of the strawberry plants from the arrow garden, but you're gonna see in a moment, I need to remove another one. Hey guys, remember how I said we could totally fit three plants in here and it's gonna be no problem? I was wrong. I'm gonna definitely have to take one of these plants out. It's, yeah, I'm asking for trouble. All right, welcome to the basement. I uh, did a lot of work on it this past week. Uh, got all of the tomatoes and most of the jalapeno plants in five gallon buckets. There is a string that leads up so they've got somewhere to climb and all of these lights are adjustable so I can move them up and down. I'm gonna try to figure out how I can get like two lights on a pulley because I think the one light isn't quite enough light for each of the plants. But we do have a tomato flowering back there. And again, the jalapeno plant is just ridiculously producing. I love it. Uh, still putting out more flowers. Uh, this little one, the runt of the gang, is finally putting out little flowers, which is great. And this one over here is putting out some flowers as well. I'm gonna have to deal with a little bit of a nutrient deficiency I see, but we'll figure it out. Thanks for watching. Before you go anywhere, hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. You don't want to miss any garden updates. See you next time!